Generic greetings and welcome to Evil Genius 2 World Domination. Today's beverage is a very nice and evil cup of tea. What is evil about it, you may ask? Well, I put the milk in first. Insert generic evil laughter here. So this is going to be the start of a new series on Evil Genius 2 where we will be selecting a genius, building a lair, <laughs> do endless assaults from the forces of justice, but hopefully at the end evil will prevail. If nothing else, fun will be had. I have done a preview on this game in the past. You may want to check that out, but we will be going through from the very beginning through the tutorial, so hopefully you'll be able to pick all of that up. If you're not aware what the game is, essentially it is a base builder and strategy game where you play a very sort of tongue-in-cheek, cartoony, um, cliched evil genius doing generic evil because why not i have done a series on the original in the past several years ago now in fact speaking of that i noticed there's some similarities in the wording for that series that we've got carried over here world domination hmm someone's been cribbing have their rebellion huh huh or is it coincidence uh, i see I see. No, no, it's it's just coincidence that lawyers have to legally say that. Okay, let's go to new game and uh, we'll play this thing. Okay, so over to create new, and we have to first select our evil genius. Geni, geniuses, G G genius. So we've got four evil geniuses to pick from. We have Maximilian, who is a mega rich megalomaniac. We had Red Ivan. Had have Red Ivan. Technically, we did had have Red Ivan in the first game. They have now uh, went from henchman to evil genius. They're a heavy muscle madman. Uh, Zalika, who is a scientific mastermind with a very tall uh, bit of hair there. And Emma, who is an ex-spy master turned poison pro. They all have their strengths and weaknesses. They all have a similar ability in which they can order minions to do their bidding around them. Maximilian is more of a generalist, and then basically each of the others are focused around a particular minion type. So Red Ivan is um, muscle minions, Zalika scientific, and then Emma is deception. Um, I have played all of them to a certain point, but none of them to completion. So this will be a bit of a journey for me as well as yourself. And I put a couple of polls out on YouTube, Twitter, and uh, Patreon, and they all came back roughly the same. Basically, the one scored, Maximilian was the highest on YouTube but everybody else uh, was basically between either Emma or Red Ivan in fact Red Ivan did top two of those so we are going to go with Red Ivan the bonus with Red Ivan is he's voiced by Brian Blessed so uh, yeah that's that's always a good one although I have a bit of a soft spot for Emma because she's voiced by Samantha Bond who is Money Penny in the Brosnan era so yeah anyway we're gonna go with Red Ivan so they have do it now which is always it's about focusing minions attention on where he is old school which Pulls out a rocket launcher to blow up your own base, because why not? And might makes right. Born in battle, Ivan is capable of marshalling a large number of muscle minions while paying quite as much. So their muscle minions pack a better punch. So a lot more about defence. So we're going to be very direct in this playthrough. Let's go to next, and then we have to select our lair. Uh, unlike the previous game, you have three options to choose from. So there is a... It's a exclusive isolated evil. This is crown gold. We can see the gallery there and what it is like on the different places. The details is the main one though. So there is the first layer. They all have, like I say, bonuses based on their location, diggable area, and also the justice threat. So smash is the highest level. Actually, saber smash and patriot are high. Anyway, and you can see they have um, different layers. Now, I'm personally still not entirely sold on multiple layers. I do quite find it uh, a little bit difficult, but I'm going to have to manage it guess and dig upwards i may get used to it later on i just i'm, I'm set in my ways okay i like the single plane build rather than having to go up and down rooms but we'll see about that the next one you can see this one is i believe pretty much set on going vertical because you've got these two island masses which is only connected at the second highest end so that's pretty good and then this one which is ha it has the helipad right in the center and you can see it's quite sprawling all the way around and yeah, the main thing we're looking at though is these bits of rock. Now these are harder to dig through and you won't have the technology to dig through them right at the very beginning. So we're actually going to go with the base one because that gives you, I say the base one, it's not really the default I don't think. I think they're all, uh, all for a decent choice. But this one has a quite big buildable area. So that's what I'm going to go with. And then it says select the DLC, Mr. Scruffle statue. It's just one of the extra little um, DLCs where you can get, um, it's just... It's just um, 
just flashy pieces like we can place it down and it does nothing mechanical I don't think it's just something we can place and then we'll select our difficulty easy is not evil enough hard is is probably too evil on ourselves let's go with medium the default option for Stratus motto uh, good isn't good enough that's why we're the best agents are more than a match for your average minion and gold is plentiful but only if you're willing to work for it so right in the middle you can go for a custom options and I have set a couple of those and actually do prefer to like say knock up training but no we're going to stick with default just in case you wanted to play and follow through with roughly the same thing for maybe similar or better effect but anyway let's go to start and we'll finally begin this series <laughs> i'd rather go through all of the options and explain what we're doing than just rush through it so you don't have a clue what's going on there is our evil base obviously everything is evil in this including the flooring and we will fly in on our evil helicopter onto our evil helipad with evil min actually the, the minions are not too evil actually they're just a uh, bit generic and oh yes here we go we've got a guy which should actually be a lot redder than I thought are we going to step out and there we go into the sunshine and we'll stomp along with our side swells and yes there we go mm. very happy with our base hopefully tutorial is enabled so it will tell us how to operate use the camera controls to move the camera around your lair cool WS and D we can do that how to rotate the now camera middle the mouse and zoom yeah I don't think we need to know camera, camera controls who do you think you are giving me instructions like that instructions right brilliant see I always thought Tim Curry in Red Alert 3 was the best at butchering an accent I think Brian's uh, giving him a run for his money here I I'm here to help by telling you exactly what to do next in a friendly and helpful manner oh, we won't like that but you're here to do everything i say correct step one tell us what you want and the minions will do it good we're eager to please uh, and also e eager to live <laughs> please stop looking at me like that i just realized that the proportions he's got a very lechuk vibe about him from monkey island especially from the curse onwards hmm <laughs> okay that's things you notice so lair will be much more impressive once it has more rooms yes it would open the build menu yes we'll do in a moment so as we can see we have our helipad here this is where our minions will come and go from they are obviously streaming along this gantry at the moment and then into the lair this is where we've got our corridors and we've also got a casino out here which is currently in a state of disrepair and that's probably ruined the carpet all that leaking and you can then build inside here that is basically the whole point of it so let's go over to the left hand side to build mode and to the you vault to and it's basically telling us to build a vault so over to icon. our items here we're going to place pallets, oh, pallets first gold you can keep in your lair. there we go and then a door and Once then confirm done, job done confirm to give the order to your minions wait for your minions to install the door before moving on ordered furniture must first be collected from the depot under the helipad and as you can see the minions will come with their uh, gravity gun perhaps <laughs> this this device that is very useful for well pretty much everything you can drill through rock you can create buildings you can even pick up bodies with it so it's got a multiple a multitude of uses this thing uh, our uh, <laughs> Our genius is currently standing around, probably on judging them. Uh, we can move them around and such. There are stats on every character and minion, so you can see we've got vitality, smarts, and morale. If those go to zero, then that's not good. Mainly the vitality one, though. That tends to be something you can't can't really recover from. We've got to say, do it now, which is order minions to prioritize jobs around Red Ivan's vicinity. We don't need to do that because there's only one set of options here and one thing we're building. And also old school, which equips a rocket launcher, which is going to set my base on fire. If we have force of justice and now we have now gold your gold is safe let's add another room to the lair minions need to rest after a day of evil deeds let's build a barracks yep so items can be rotated freely with the rotate controls there items that need to be placed next to a wall will automatically rotate place oh, some beds on the other side Can of the stop barracks talking? Any chance? Open the yeah, system's yeah, menu. Yeah, yeah. There we go. So, yes, as the tutorial was saying, we are now we've got a place to store our gold, which is very, very shiny. Very, very shiny indeed. Very sparkly. I don't know if minions come along and have to rub that with 
uh, some polish or anything and brasso it out, but who knows. Over here we have our barracks, which again is very small, but we can expand these as we progress on. This is where minions will rest. We also now have to go to our objectives. Optional objectives and... will give you small, frequent challenges. Yeah. Collect this one Let's crack that reward. So that's reward. an optional one. You get loads of different Come ones. Back here often for main objectives, side stories, and optional objectives. Food is an essential part of any minion's diet. Without it, they'll become more unhealthy and less intelligent. Much less intelligent. <laughs> Build a mess hall. You can rotate any item in your lair. You can also move them after they've been constructed. So, that is our mess hall. Um, I should point out on the top left it shows us the total cost and energy as well. It's giving us for like the building itself. So, 7,160 generic units of currency and 4 units of power. And this, like other buildings, is just providing some, providing some refreshment or some the recuperation for the minions. And we have another optional objective Basic which is counters, construct lockers in the barracks. And, vitality, and stop stomachs from rumbling. Excellent. So yeah, they'll go there and they'll re replenish their vitality. Uh, sorry, uh, smarts and vitality. The lockers, now, <laughs> it's almost a sort of uh, joke in the original Evil Genius where the thing that you have to build almost the most of are lockers because lockers increase the amount of minions that you can have and, well, you often had... I personally anyway had barracks where you'd had maybe say 10 or 12 beds and then another barracks that was just a field of lockers endlessly so let's just build a couple of those to increase our capacity. Don't worry the tutorial is quite thick and fast at the moment telling us what to do. We will get to a point obviously where it's just like right now continue on so hopefully this isn't too much of a problem for uh, at the moment but yeah. There we go. I'm also going to go over here, and you can see we've got these things here, these broken slot machines. Another good top tip here is these do say they can be sold. Uh, so the slot machines cannot be salvaged. The, the only reason they can be sold is because they have coins in them. Everything in here you can sell if it just says it may be valuable. So you want to sell anything like that because you'll get extra cash. So uh, I'll do that now. So over to edit, sell, sell, and this will obviously increase our cash. We do have to worry about our maximum though because there is a maximum amount that we can store in here in fact oh you can see we're pretty much on the max i will actually revert the actually i'll confirm those changes but yeah i'm not going to build anymore looks like this is going to get sorted shortly let me just uh more move him over here and i want to prioritize do it now why isn't this finished <laughs> so that will prioritize the building of these things because obviously I've done this some of the minions because of the claw set are going to go over there This is the only way you can like directly control the ordering of your minions uh, build order as far as I can tell You can order minions um, as henchmen and your main guys around but this is like say one of the few direct control options you have and Oh, we have some. Yep, someone is now coming along. You can see here with this build thing. I'm going to turn that off now. It'll take a little while to recharge, and we'll build that. Oh, available. power is off. That's not good. It seems we're low on power. Let's fix that before continuing. Build so, space for a power station. You power can place station. this where you like, but be careful, as it will be a tempting target for enemy agents. So I'm going to place it power there. items in the lair. Without it, almost nothing will function. Be careful, as enemy agents will attempt to sabotage your generators if they find them. It sure is dark, isn't it? Are you scared? No? Me, me neither. <laughs> so, this is our generator room. I'm going to place enough generators... Oh, let me just fix that. To power the base up for the considerable future. Um, we can build up to about there. It's quite difficult to see when it's dark, but we'll confirm that build order. Um, I've left a little section at the front for mm, something later on. Let's just leave it at that. Over to the optionals here, construct locks in the barracks. We will collect that reward, and that's extra cash, even though we are pretty much maxed out on that. 51,900 generic units of currency, and we currently have 17 minions. You can see not all of the options are currently available. What I am going to do is go to our corridor here and I'm going to build a corridor as far back as I can like so and I'll just confirm the building of it. There, there are minions just hanging around doing nothing so I may as well get them to crack on with that. 
and you can see uh, <laughs> Red Ivan or I, I'm going to interchangeably call it go between Ivan and Brian so <laughs> I don't know what's more evil <laughs> the evil Brian although Brian bless it isn't evil I don't think he's evil I remember reading his uh, audio auto, uh, his biography I think quite an interesting fellow has climbed Everest at least on a couple of occasions don't think he ever got to the summit but there you are anyway uh, back to the actual game in hand, <laughs> we can see we've got these Jenny Raters that are being placed, or at least ordered, so that's pretty good. Also, this is working. What I have to point out is the it's very pretty lighting, and I can see all of these like lighters that beam across it. It's uh, I don't think anyone can call it a an ugly game, certainly not. And see all like the flashes on the suits and stuff as they're working. It's all like directional. That's very nice. Uh, we will get eventually some eventually some power and some light in here it just means the generators have to be placed first although we are yeah, one two three four five ready to place these ones can't be built yet because it's waiting minion orders and we've still got this bit of rock they have to remove the rock and then they have to place the tiles for the building so the there you go and let's have a look at our optional objective we can see we have higher six or more minions i can go to minion training and say higher and Defeated agents lie that, 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 in body bags it. on the floor, causing minions to lose morale if they get too close. Yes, I know that. Build an incinerator in your power station to dispose of them. Okay, so that's why I was leaving this space here. We can go to incinerator and we can place one, but I'm not going to place one. We're going to place not two because, quite frankly, for, <laughs> for for um, good or bad, I've I've tended to have a big problem with body bags in the base. Hmm. And I don't know if that says know. more about the where we're playing the or or, or myself. The evil genius portrait to highlight and follow your evil genius. We need to move him. With the evil genius selected, interact anywhere in the highlighted area to move your genius. Which we have now done. You need a control room to send minions into the world. Let's lay down a plan for one. So, we now have all of these generators. We are currently on 48 units of power, which is good. Um, we can go over to building, and you notice we've got these numbers here. A lot of these are simply cosmetic items, so that's why it's pointing that up. So you've got things like floor lamps, you've got chairs, and some of them are cosmetic. Well, decor, it says there, but some of them do actually do things. Um, I'll see if I can show you one of them in in here. No, I don't think it's going to show you there. Some of them are do have uh, purposes. And there's our incinerators. Good. Right, let's go ahead and build the control room that it is recommending we build. So I think I'll build it, say, Radio there for now. Repeaters provide broadcast strength. Okay. Allowing us to maintain criminal networks across the globe. Yeah, very the good. The more broadcast strength you generate with your radio repeaters, the more of the world you can infiltrate. For now, let's just infiltrate a little bit. Hmm. So I'm just going to build a couple of radio repeaters. You see I'm actually spacing them out. So I've got the radio repeater, a bit of a gap, and then I'm going to have maybe a gap of two, one, two, three, four, and then a gap of two, and then another radio repeater, which actually works out exactly for this size. Actually, am I overdoing that? I think I may be overdoing that. If I just shift it along, I can put rock back in there and then place this like so. So there's only a gap of one in between the two. And this I'll put back as rock, which again, I like uh, that you can do that in this game. That's pretty good. And that's only two radio repeaters, but that is that is enough for for our first build. I should point out that when we're building, obviously we can we can build pretty much any way we want. As long as they connect up like that, they are legitimate. However, you can see there's different stratas of rock here. I can't build on that. It will not allow me to build on that or this one. However, there are technologies you can research to get that unlocked. So we will be doing that. Probably as a priority, but let's confirm that. We need to build radio repeaters, but there's no minimum size of room. Let's just bring Red Ivan over here. And we can see people are now hanging around. Let me see also our optional. We are on, if I track on the hood there, hire six or more minions. Well, I don't think I can hire any more. I think I'm on my max amount, am I? Yes, I'm on my max amount. I need more lockers. So you know what? While we are waiting, I might as well just build a much bigger area so let's do just that I'm going to completely overhaul I know the tutorials just told us to do this but you know what uh, 
Their minions don't know what we're talking about. Let's just let's just move all of these around and add more inside here. Now I have to be careful on cash, but let's just say uh, place that there, place that in here, and if my calculations are correct, we should be able to get to the end without any big drama. Let me just rotate that around with R, and yes, it's to the end. And then what I'll do with this one is rotate it round, and I think start. Hang on, rotate it, and then start there, and hopefully this will fit in. Will it? It does fit in, like that. I'm going to cancel. I'm not going to build anymore, but we will confirm it. Obviously, a lot of minions to do all of that, but that's not a big problem. Similar not for this area. To support your current minion count. Yes, I know. Oh, yeah, seeing uh, not enough minions, sorry, not enough lockers to spot current minion count. That's because I've moved them, so that's why we have a problem there. Um, you can see, cash-wise, we are going right down, so I will order the sale of these things. I know we're doing quite a lot in one go, but that's all right. We are still within full control. I'm just going to sell all of this, and we can see the money that we're getting back is currently about 10 grand. Getting rid of all these boxes, which I don't know what they contain, but apparently it's worth quite a bit. And confirm that. That's going to give us a nice extra chunk of change there. The optional objectives also give us some cash. And for some reason, you see the minions really like selling. They're, <laughs> they're all about the selling. I also haven't shown you the door as well. Because when they go up to the door, there's like a... That one doesn't, but the, scan, the door scans you. So here we go. So the minions will come up to it. They will stand. Yeah, they'll do like a... Not a T pause. But they'll stand there. They'll get scanned and then they'll go through. Let's have a check out our optionals here. Construct a generator, apparently, which is 7,500 if we do that. Well, we could easily get that done if we wanted to. I could say expand to there, which is going to cost us... To the world stage. That will cost us seven grand, but we'll get 7,500 back. So I'm going to confirm that. And it's now asking us to go to the world stage. Now, in the first game, this was... I would say the least desirable part of it. And when I say least desirable, I mean it was just a bit rubbish. Uh, I just did, I never really liked it personally. Is an excellent place to start your journey towards world domination. Okay. Select a suggested region or any other region if you know what you are doing. No, definitely not. And scout it to establish a criminal network. So we've got Eastern Smash Republic. We've got the Central Saber Territories. We have Central Hammer District, the Northeastern Patriot States, and then is it asking us. Oh, yeah, we can also go there as well, which is the Southern Anvil Provinces. We're going to go with the closest available, which is going to be here. So it costs three workers. To build this, you need one broadcast strength. We are currently on two broadcast strength, and it's 30 seconds to establish. So we click Scout, and what happens speed up is minions will go from the base and time. out, but they don't come back. You can't bring them back from that world. So you send them, it's a one time only thing. You can see above the heads there, they are heading out. Job done. Uh, these are getting placed, so that'll take a little bit of time to do that, but that's alright. And we may have our six more minions still on two of six, so I may have to hire a couple more. It costs 10,000 to hire a minion, but you also get auto-hire as well. So I'm not going to do anything yet because our gold reserves are not exactly that plentiful. This is all being cleaned out now as well, so that's good. See, they're building that. I love the way it's like, just when they have the building... Or the item, rather, should I say. It sort of expands out and then they just slam it down on the ground. <laughs> it's like, yep, that'll do. That's where it's going. Here we go, look, see? So it's created and then... Uh, placed! <laughs> They've basically got the gravity gun, haven't they? These guys are just playing Gary's mod. That's all this, That's all that's going on here. And I've just realised that there's lovely little details in the game. Like, these lights I haven't placed, they just automatically placed there. And you've got things like this on the bed there like a pamphlet of evil although that seems to be maximilian's one so i don't think ivan would be too keen same with the little details in it every, all of these rooms so you've got the every, every room's got like a different look of it so you've got like a pipe work here some uh, squares t to show you like oh yeah we've got a we've got a problem there um you know oh, don't touch that it's electrical and and a control panel apparently is just a red switch and a green button that's all we've got and i don't know what that is some sort of capacitor or battery and here you've got like access pads and such. Hmm. Uh, it's asking us to speed up time. We should probably do that because that's part of the tutorial. Built, you can use our criminal I'm all packed, boss. 
Send me into the world, and I'll come back with plenty of gold. Okay. Come back? <laughs> you think you're coming back? Mm. Oh, I'm not having you coming back here, <sighs> tracking justice all over the place like mud. <laughs> They'll follow you right to my door, and then there for the beast. There. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, take a little gold for yourself. Then send the rest back here. Use your share to live a quiet life. Well, that's quite nice. That's quite nice of him. It's not that evil. Could have them executed or all sorts. The world and run any scheme you select. You will receive small amounts of gold as they progress. Hmm. So we have a bank robbery. Expires in infinite, because this is a tutorial. So you can see, bank robbery, it all begins here. The first of many robberies. A dedicated team of workers can breach the vault and make a getaway laden down with gold. Increases the heat in the region. Uh, and if the heat goes to maximum, in this case, is 50, this gets shut down temporarily. And more heat means more forces of justice on your doorstep. It will give us 5,000 generic units of currency. And again, two workers and 30 seconds to complete not 30 seconds to just get there it's 30 seconds from arriving to complete dispatch minions will begin the scheme minions will not return to the lair we will say don't ask us again we'll just accept that and there we go and will make for the perfect place to hold your enemies before questioning them we just got that secondary there which is pretty good this is asking us to build a prison so let's go ahead and do that i'm hmm I'm having some issues on exactly where we could place it. See, we can't go through that rock, and I want to... I want to potentially have a corridor running along here. New optional objective available. Mm, yeah. So, because then I need to, ac to access the rest of this. If I, if I don't do this now, I'll end up building myself into a... Avian. Uh... <laughs> We've got this, yes, this corridor. I'm building it four cross because a lot of the the corridors, um, sorry, a lot of the items you can place in here, traps wise and such, needed to be a certain distance. But we're going to go with that. And you can see, I'm, I don't need to confirm that. I can happily go to the prison here and build. And I'm going to build it, I don't know, there? Uh, uh, These holding cells good place hold any. one prisoner each. If you don't have any free cells, your minions can't capture people. Once this interrogation chair is built, we can use it to make prisoners tell us their secrets. Okay. I'm not a big fan of the... the different size at the back there. What I'm going to do is build out a little bit. I'm going to have... Well, I guess we could have... Ah, oh, we can't fit them there. That's a shame. A scheme has All succeeded. these minions... All, all the holding cells, oops, there. Probably make it a bit smaller, actually. Ah, oh, where's the door going to go? Didn't we think about a door? I could build a corridor down there. No, because then this won't be very big. Okay. Let me reset the whole thing. What about if we were to build... Like this. Would it be worth it? Something like that. With maybe an entrance way in here. Like that. And then all along this side we can have Not enough gold those. This and then this is where we have the torture devices. Experiment with interrogating agents. I mean um, interrogation chair. <clears throat> you will uncover. Yeah we'll have that. Why not? Obviously, we can build out further once we get technology, but that'll be about right. All right, how we're doing for the world stage? World stage, we can see we now have four missions to undertake. These ones are big dock energy and a December to <laughs> dismember. The all yeah, right, cool. This reduces heat and that reduces heat. One costs ten grand, the other one takes twenty minutes. I'm going to go with more cash, more better. That is three minions, and you can. Uh, three minutes, three minions, three minutes, ten grand. Let's launch a scheme. I'm also tempted to launch another. I'm going to scout up over here. Again, another bit of a tip. And admittedly, all these tips are my experience after only playing about 20, 25 hours of the game and not to completion. So your mileage may vary, and obviously it depends on your play style. But I found that 
personally, if I overdo the placement of these things, I can't manage them and then I end up not forgetting but don't have the minions to deal with it and it takes ages and then eventually they'll get shut down and you just get swarmed by the forces of justice so you really don't want to overdo that i find let's just double check our secondary objectives yet yeah, construct a generator 7500 and this is on the hood now earn 20,000 from schemes which will give us will give us 2500 that's pretty good main tutorial objective is currently build prison tiles construct a holding cell construct an interrogation chair so we're going for that now. Um, I'm also very tempted to, well, once again, go over to Corridor and we'll say four by, doesn't matter, that's the Corridor, okay? So we can place things on both sides. It is not an elegant solution. Um, I know there's a lot of people who'll be going, ah, well, you need to snake the Corridor around and put loads of traps and all this, all this different thing. And obviously now we have the the way to go to different parts of the base that's basement level one level two level three level four and then outside that's where we currently are very nice i mean you'd want to go there on your holidays nice little beach there i mean these plants look like they can eat you they're carnivorous but still you know you have to take a bit of risk let's go back to the base and there's <laughs> ivan flexing for no reason we're gonna put him in here don't like, don't like that he's just sitting out in the middle of nowhere there. Going to speed up to max speed while the minions crack on. Obviously cash at this stage is a little bit of a problem. We are still waiting for enough cash to build these New things here. New optional objective available. What have we got there then? Complete one scheme. Well, we are on 42% for this one. And we have... Just established a, new criminal network a criminal network. Established. This one is three minutes, three workers, ten grand. I want to wait a little bit because there's another one that should pop up, which will be 30 or 35 minutes. Maybe take three or six minions, but it, it's over a longer period of time, and I don't mind doing that. Um, 30 minutes, 20 grand, three, three minions, so it's more efficient on minion. So there we are. Not that we have minions... You know, a, a big problem with minions. What we do have a big problem with... Oh, it looks like we have a big problem. But there's loads of gold there, but we've only got 12 grand, so what's our maximum storage? 52,000. Our vault is currently at 24% capacity. And how much are these things here, these interrogation chairs? They are 15,000 each and require 2 power. We have 91 power spare, so pretty happy with that. Let's max speed it out, and we'll wait for this to happen. This is where... You could get into potentially some of the downside of the game that you can often spend a little bit of time waiting for cash or waiting for research to be finished. And I found that uh, can become potentially a problem uh, later on. We've got a, here we go, scheme completerated. So we'll have a look and it is down here. Now I do have another scheme that I can run and that will be, what is it? Uh, must see what I mean. Did you know that glass eyes are extremely valuable? Even more so if one of them secretly has a diamond inside of it, a prize hard for someone to resist current heat is 30 if we did that we would bring ourselves up to oh we bring our, ourselves up to quite a high heat level so i'm going to instead send some workers to reduce our heat now this will slowly go up anyway you can see that we have a passive passive income on it but also the heat will slowly go up as well so i don't want to be messing around there too much but i do want to eventually scout another place out but that will require a repeater so I'm not too sure how we're going to get about that. Either way, we have a minion coming down, being scanned by the door. Door is obviously sentient. And we'll then go and build the interrogation chair. And... Clunk! Alright, let's go to the world stage. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Brilliant. Head to the world stage to recruit a scientist. So we've got a scientist Select that we can recruit. Scientist scheme. Special schemes are often highlighted on the world stage with coloured signs. That is true. Keep your eyes open for these important schemes. So we have a couple of schemes. We have one down here, which is unfortunate because we've just sent minions to do this. And if we do launch that scheme, it will cancel the previous one. I think I will build another radio repeater. Let's just place it there. And confirm that. By the way, I just right-clicked on the room and it gives us the room tiles. That's a very good little quick thing there. And it will allow us to then build on here because we'll have the broadcast strength. And then not only can we do that mission there, which is why I'm doing the scientist one, but also allow us to obviously do missions there as well. I don't want to stop this one because we've just started that as well. So, yeah, we'll 
we'll wait for that one. So max speed out and once again wait for minions to head to the helicopter. Uh, they're currently not there. Hang on, they might have already taken off. No, they have... Oh, of course, of course they haven't sent there because I haven't built this yet. There we go, now I can do that. So I will click scout and again a good thing is you can click on minion and it shows you where the minion is. So this minion has been ordered to go and set that up. So that is Zara Bucket traveling to the world. They like to feed the birds, as do I. Uh, likes to take time to stop and feed the birds and a sweet tooth. Loves sweet treat or two or three. Uh, not personally for me. More, more savory. Sausage roll over... <laughs> over... Uh, cream horn or anything anytime. Oh, that's quite savoury actually, isn't it? I can't think of sweet things. Anyway, let's go ahead and build. Uh, build, build, build. I think we're going to extend our extend our place here. Optional um, objective complete. One there. Because we've got so many minions now. We potentially have a bit of an issue. Should cancel that and move. That there. And I'll put the door more centralised. Oh, can I build... Oh, I can build that side. It's even better. So I'm just building more of these tables. The orientation doesn't particularly matter, but I like... I like it so the workers are back-to-back -back and the minions feeding a Feeding? Yeah, the minions eating are back-to-back. -back. <laughs> feeding. I guess they technically are. It's just not really a term I would use. There we go. And then... Rock... And confirm. Obviously, it'll take some time to do that, but this is now set up. Let's launch the scheme. Once complete, the scheme will yield you a fresh-faced scientist. Good. We want scientists. They do science stuff. More news at 11. And, oh, look at this. So we have loads of secondary uh, optional objectives completed. We have complete a scheme, 2,500. Earn 20 grand from schemes, 2,500. High six minions, 2,500. Brilliant. That will probably allow me to build this thing here. You can see also now some minions are suffering from critical smarts. Smarts is dangerously low. So we'll have to see if we can sort that out. Luckily, we're still on the tutorial. So it says tutorials uh, resetting stats. So I think we've got a bit of a grace period for some of this as well. So there you are. There's the minions building this oversized thing here. Obviously, if you... Thinking small, bird. <laughs> Thinking small here. Um, yeah, you, you'd save a bit of cash now, but I like to oversize these buildings just to give us a bit of an extra, an extra room. If we if we have to then build another one of those rooms back here, I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, what I am going to do though is seal that off, and then on say here, uh, where is it? Food. I want to build this. I want to build it there. Is that right? Yes. The reason for that will hopefully become clear later on. Mainly it's because this corridor is a... It's got a T-section there and I want flat wall there to put traps on. And that's why. How we're doing over here. This is 75% complete. You can see that's going up very, very quickly there. And that will yield as a scientist minion. I'm ready to uncover the mysteries of the universe for you, boss. Okay, we've got a you slightly younger Doc Brown here with a radioactive tie. Interesting bird research implies you're searching for something a second time. <laughs> okay, that tickled me a little bit more than it should have done. You'd better not be charging me for the same work twice. Your new scientist appears to believe that we can use a training room to teach our slack-jawed minions how to do specialist jobs. Potentially. Get one built and you can find out for sure. Yep, I'm just going to wait a little bit so I can... I want to get some gold from here, but I'm waiting for the next bit to appear. Yeah, there we go. Just the, the shorter scheme. Let's go back and we need a training room. So where can I place a training room? Well, I think I'm going to place it here. Each specialist minion type requires a trainer of its own. Okay. Request a scientist trainer. So again, I might be oversizing these, but hopefully we won't have to then Not build any more. Uh, there's two trainers there, scientist trainers. We'll Once set that built, going. You will be able to instruct your minions to train as scientists. 
Mm. Having more scientists will speed up future research. You may be wondering what this massive hole in the center is for. Um, well, we'll get to that later on in the series, but trust me, it's um, it's quite evil, as is most of the game. I just realized I don't think I put a door in there. We also have different minion types now. Science, deception, and muscle minions. And we can train scientists. Well, we can set them to train, but we won't be training them, I don't think. Not yet, anyway. So once again, minions are coming along. Mining all that out, that's good. Let me check our optional, establish additional criminal networks, which we need to establish, establish two criminal networks. We can potentially do that, so let me go ahead and add in one, two, I'll add three in while I'm here and confirm that. Naturally, that's going to lower our gold storage, but that's not a, not a absolutely massive problem. We can always steal more, as the, <laughs> as this guy often does tell us. We are doing that mission there this one is re oh that's getting cash over there and then on the bottom we are reducing heating see heat is currently going down and hopefully oh it's currently heat nine maximum is 50. i could cancel that and then build there but i find that maybe patience at this stage is probably best so we have criminal networks in the we have it in smash patriot and saber areas we don't have anything in hammer or in a recommended there anvil so i'm probably going to oh the map doesn't wrap around i'm probably going to build it maybe there i'm not too sure actually but certainly in the central hammer states uh, we'll probably go there that's where it recommended last time but obviously requires broadcast strength which we currently don't have although these are being ordered so you can see that's building and then crunch dump underneath there we are which means we can then send someone over there scout doesn't cost any cash to send them and once we've built the other one we'll send it over there New so we now empty. have Available. Uh, actually cancel that. Yes, cancel that one, send it there instead. So yeah, we now have a criminal network in one of every territory, which is probably really a bad idea because we're going to get loads of different type of <laughs> agents come at us, but there you are, it's the way we're doing it. So this is our training room, and you can see I didn't build a door in it, but I can easily resolve that, like so. Uh, these, we don't have the cash, we need 5,000 to do that, although cash is steadily coming in can we check the stats out no that's objectives uh, that's not the right button that is the stats where is our cow okay gold that's heat yeah that's fine so weekly income you see we've got expenses 224,000 and we've got 227,000 hmm yeah that could potentially be a problem, but let's have a quick look here. Still sending the minions. Let's put it to max speed. That's on 63%. That one's sending the helicopter to establish the network. That one's getting done. This one's on 60%. And let's see if we can steal some cash. A new criminal network has been established. All right, that's been established. That's good. 15 grand for six workers. And this one is 20 grand for three workers, but it takes a lot longer. I'm going to go with the six workers. Because um, we do have we have a lot of minions to send out. Oh, this one has been completed. But I do need to reduce my heat in that area. Because we're currently on 31 of 50. I could spend 10 grand to reduce it by 50. But the problem is, I haven't stolen enough cash. So I will send minions over there. So a bit of a slow boat approach. That's not a problem though. This criminal network will be established in a second or two and then that will give us the optional objective and objective also allow us to available. steal 20 grand let's go for that With the correct training furniture built in your training room yeah. you can request that your minions train to become specialists so i'm not going to set to up the minion training screen to request training of some new scientists mm. your workers will start to train automatically they'll learn faster if another minion is able to teach them Good. So I've set up a total of four scientists. I think I'm going to up that to six. And normally you'll only have a couple doing it at any one time, but obviously minions have needs, sadly. Uh, <laughs> and you need to uh, make an allowance for that. Let me go ahead and... Oh, you can see they're now training. You can see this guy is thinking. They're looking at this board here and going, all right, what does that mean? We've got pi, p equals spin the board around, d equals n... <laughs> square root of UK uh, person plus acid is 
rip. Yeah, I get so. And this scientist here is training them, so it increases the speed in which those train. So that's good. Let me go ahead and check out our optional. We'll, we'll get that one. And we now have an interrogate agent option. New Interesting. Just double checking here. Your uh, minions will this... need somewhere to perform their research. Plan a laboratory. A laboratory. So we need to build a laboratory in order to do some research. But what I'm going to do instead is cancel that. There you go. Um, so it says, if the scheme is start progress, you'll only have to refund 25% of the cost. Lose all progress on the scheme. So if I cancel that, will heat go up? I actually don't think it does. Cancel. Yeah, it doesn't. Ca yeah, it cancel. It doesn't cancel all progress. It just cancels the progress that it made there. Because I just want to send some over there to steal. The heat has gone down to an acceptable level. So it's asking us to build a science uh, a laboratory for the scientists to study. But I'm not going to do that now. I think the episode is already long enough. So we're going to leave it there. That is the first episode of our Evil Genius Two World Domination. World Domination. So hopefully in the next episode we'll do some science and that will hopefully allow for more evil. Um, if you have any suggestions for uh, changes for the design, comments for the layer, um, look and things to be placed, moved, etc. All of those good things then by all means let me know in the comments and as always we will take it from there. Hope you have enjoyed the episode you and I guess for what it is, the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic evil partings.